Hello and welcome. And the mathematical symbol of today is Euler's phi function, denoted with a lowercase phi. It's also called Euler's totient function and used in number theory. Therefore, the domain of the function is given by the positive integers. So we have the natural numbers n starting with 1. And also the codomain is given by the natural numbers. Now of course the question here should be what is the definition of phi of n? And the short answer is that we simply have to count numbers with two properties. So let's use the letter a for the numbers we count and then I explain the two properties. The first one is very simple. We only consider numbers that are less or equal than n. This means that the outcome of the phi function can never be greater than the input. Then the second property tells us that a and n don't have a single common divisor. Of course, except 1, because 1 divides everything. Hence, we can write this as the greatest common divisor, gcd of a and n, is equal to 1. In mathematics, then we say that a and n are mutually prime. Now, if you have never seen this greatest common divisor, then I think examples will help. For example, what is phi of 4? Now, because of property 1, we already know we only have to look at the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Of course, property 2 immediately tells us that the number itself, so 4 here, cannot be counted. Indeed, you see, the greatest common divisor of 4 and 4 would be 4 again, not 1. However, then you also see that 1 does not have any divisors, therefore it always fulfills both properties. Then, in the next step, we have to exclude 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. Ok, then looking at 3, we see there is no common divisor greater than 1. And now you see, when we count the numbers that remain that fulfill both properties, we get out 2. Hence, phi of 4 is 2. So maybe let's look at another example, so let's choose 5. Now we can look at the list again, but maybe you already know that 5 is a prime number. Hence, the only number in the list we can cancel would be 5. Therefore, finally, we count 4 numbers. In fact, with this reasoning here, we can immediately calculate phi of p when p is a prime number. And now you know, this should be p minus 1. Now, there are a lot of other nice properties for Euler's phi function, but maybe this is good enough for this video. Therefore, I hope that I see you next time. Bye!